So it's time to do the delete and luckily the delete is extremely simple. I'm going into my delete function, I'm going to grab the facade, the customer service and I'm calling the delete function with the ID I'm getting from the outside. I'm done. I'll try and launch this and try and test it. So one thing I want to add while it runs here, right now we're not sending any status back to the user of the program. We're always just returning OK. Even if you failed the delete, we'll still return OK. That's of course not good enough, but it's good enough for now. Later on, I'll try and show you guys how you can send back status codes, explaining if things went well or they didn't went go too well. And we'll try and look at that later. But right now, it's really not that important. So it seems the application is now running. Let's try and go into Postman. And again, just do a get request with slash customers right here. Let me just zoom here because I can see that's a bit tiny up there. There we go. So we say localhost, uh, the URL, API, customers. And let's try and do a send right here. It's trying to load and didn't get the request. Now that's actually an interesting error because if I go back here, you'll see why. The port has changed right here. So notice if you get an error like this, just check your ports. Let me try and go back to my actual postman here and notice that the port is wrong here, right? It says 52322 right now. And that's not what I wanted. So let's put in the right port, which is 51540 now. And let's try and do it again. And I even spelled customers wrong. Oh my God. There we go. Now you have to put this in the right way. <laughs> oh, it won't work, of course. And there we go. Now we have the exact same data like we did last lesson. To do the delete, I'll select instead of a get request, the exact same path right here, but instead of a, a get request, it'll be a delete request. Another thing I need to do is I'll just clear my body for now. And then the last thing I want to do is I want to add a front slash and then the ID of the person I want to delete. And of course, I don't want to delete myself. So I'll put in two right here to delete all. Try and do that. I'll send the request. Hopefully I won't get anything back, right? That's what I said. The status code right now is always 200. If it works or not, you'll always get 200 back. We'll look at that later. I'll try and get everybody again without even the ID. And now it should actually return to me a list without all. There we go. So it works. Now let's try and actually go and delete last as well, even though I don't like that. So we'll go in and we'll put in a one here instead of a two. We'll do a send and we'll get all customers again. And we have no customers left. Ta-ta! So the delete is working. See you next time where we look at the update.